and there's another five hit points damage, and there's another four hit points damage. We're out of here, kids. We are on our merry way. Nope, 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 nope. Not three wolves. Good morning, everyone. I'm Dave. Welcome back to the wee hours where I suffer from periodic bouts of insomnia and play games to pass the time. We are back in the world of Adam RPG. Last episode, we were starting to hit some development walls, areas of the game that are just not fleshed out at this point. Between that recording and this one, they did release a pretty big new update. So there may be some things that just in the last episode weren't available and now are particularly this guy at the gate in Krasno's no many 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 who's he what's it uh Krasno we're, we're just calling this city Krasno uh and to my recollection this guy was not here the last time we played and I thought this was just and and indeed it probably was an undeveloped area of the game but with the update this might have opened up now so let's just chat to this guy and see what's up because as far as I know he's new ah He's new, but he's not doing that much. The city is behind this door. The only problem, I can't open it. Well, can I open it? Can I just go in? No? Okay. Well, it's locked. Can I... Can I break it down? Oh, oh, you don't like that. You don't like that. We don't take kindly to thieves around these parts. Okay. That's cool. It is an interactable door, but I have a feeling they're gonna shoot me. If I start, and there's a lot of guards with rifles, they're going to shoot me if I start trying to break that door open. Uh, just 100% confirm, you have no dialogue, right? No, you have no dialogue at all. You have no way of, well, getting into that city because you can't open the door and that's all you want to say to me. So the suburbs of Krasno here that we investigated in the last episode didn't really reveal too much and it doesn't seem like we can actually get into the city proper, which is unfortunate because I was hoping we might be able to complete that quest to get the book for the guy in the bar in a Trodnoy. But there it is. And and we may we may hit some more development walls here. I knew going into this game that it had a limited amount of gameplay to it. I knew we would run into these and this may be a shorter series than I want it to be. But let's go back to a Trodnoy. I am just hell bent to complete that trader quest and see what happens over there. Yes, this is something else that was added in the most recent update. We have the fog of war now. So areas that we have not been down to are obscured. I'm indifferent on that. Take it or leave it doesn't really matter to me. I'm going to go down there at some point anyway. So whether it's obscured or not, I largely don't care. All right, let's go back to plan A and head back to a Trodnoy and see what we can do over there. On the way, I just stumbled across this little area here that was sort of a unmarked area that popped up as I walked over it. So I just want to give this a real quick once over. There's a skeleton here we could be looting. I got a knife and some ammo. All right. That's not a wasted trip. That's fine. Anything else around here we can be doing? How about the car? Anyone want to give me any goodies from the car? Nope. Looks like a pretty small area. All right. Yeah, some ammo, a knife I can sell. Sure, why not? All right, back on the road to a Trodnoy. Well, I was going to get back on the road to a Trodnoy, but there's this area over here that we haven't seen. So I'm just going to go poke my head in there and see if anyone wants to talk to me or hand me a quest or shoot me. Any one of those things could happen in Adam RPG. It's just that kind of game. You are being followed by a small pack of hungry wolves. If you don't do anything, they will surely attack you. Okay, well, I've only got a 23% chance to escape, but let's give it a shot. Failure. All right. Well, I guess it was the murder option. Nobody wants to talk to me. Nobody wants to give me a quest. Somebody wants to murder me. Kind of makes sense. Uh, what do we got? We got one, two, three wolves i'm not loving my chances with this if i had better gun skill i'd say sure but i'm just not digging it with three of them and one of me if i were to just take a shot at you like i mean i got a well of course i got a good shot i'm standing right next to them but if i did if i shot you okay and the wolf took 13 hit points of damage, and I run away. Can you get to me and bite me? Yep, you sure can. 
You absolutely can. That was five hit points damage. And there's another five hit points damage. And there's another four hit points damage. We're out of here, kids. We are on our merry way. Nope, 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 nope. Not three wolves. Not three wolves at all. We're just going to make our way to the exit and get out of here. Okay, now we can see what's in this little homestead here. The homestead is in development. Okie dokie. Back on the road to Atrodnoi we go. Uh, where did Atrodnoi live? Over there. Yeah, if you could go that way. What are you going to... Are you going to walk over the mountains? Wait a minute. You came from... You took a really roundabout route, Teresa. A super roundabout route. But that that's fine. That's fine. I'm sure something will pop up and want to murder me soon. Yeah, here we go. Oh, small group of friendly junk scavengers. Oh, I like friendly junk scavengers. Yeah, let's meet the scavengers. Hi, guys. I hope you mean it when you say friendly. You kind of look like the, the lead scavenger here. Before you stands a man in a pre-war jacket sporting a gas mask. He holds onto the straps of his huge rucksack with one hand while playing with a rusty bolt in the other. Uh, Want to buy something? Yeah, sure. What do you got? What do you got? Um, Anything really, really good. A lot of junk I'm seeing. Scrap metal. That sounds like a really useful crafting item and... You don't actually want that much money for it. Um, if I were to take that... I mean, we did just get that knife. So what is this? A, a joint. Okay. Fantastic. Um, so, <laughs> well... What does the old marriage want to do in this game? Minus one attention. Minus one intellect. Uh, a lot... No surprise. A lot of hunger. Plus 500 hunger. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to happen. A camping hat. Plus three survival. No, I don't think I want to trade my... Wait a minute. What's my hat? My hat is only plus one survival, I think. That's fine. It's fine. Uh, drugs. Yeah, basically junk. Basically junk. What can I sell you? Uh, how about that knife I just got? And I really don't need two guns. I should store one of those somewhere. Oh, I have two knives. Um, yeah, I'm mostly using the crowbar, so sure, we'll we'll do that. Uh, this is a terrible deal on my end, but we'll do it. Great. So I got some scrap metal. I will be on my way. Hopefully we can figure out how to do some crafting with that later. Okay, Atrodnoi, here we come. Okay, back home where we started. I wanted to check in with the head man because... I think that Moonshiner that we talked to knew him, if I understood that correctly. Yes, yes, head of the commune, got it. Uh, yes, we're aware that he's old, got it. Back already, any news about our plight? I guess not. Uh, I just came in here to chat. May I ask you some questions? Okay, no, pretty much the same dialogue options uh, from you as we've seen before. What's your deal? bearded man in a police cap on his back sits an old travel bag. Well, we are looking for a traveler. This man, oh, hang on. This man is a real life postman. We know the traitor travels. So, postman looks at you with suspicion but smiles anyway. Seems like he's in the mood for chatting. All right, can I ask you some questions? The usual dialogue options. What are you busy with? I deliver mail, dangerous work these days, but someone's got to do it. Who do you work for? The Trade Council of Krasno. Oh, can you help me get in the door? The local government, in other words. Their seat of power, as you can tell by their name. Though they don't really rule around these parts. Mostly they just sell TVs at a low price. That, that's odd. That's all because they managed to repair the TV tower at the river. Oh, interesting. Okay, so they have a working TV station in Krasno. Don't think I'm too harsh on them, though. It's clear that they are basically thugs, but at least they're trying to become a real government. All right, is there a lot of mail to deliver? You wouldn't believe it. Barely cope with the amounts. I'm always asking the bosses to hire more postmen because although people looked at the idea of creating a postal service suspiciously, they soon, soon learned how great it really is. People are really social animals. Um, we know who you work for. So another question, where are you heading from? From Krasno, our main city. I have my office and my home there. For 15 years, I've lived there, but originally I'm from the north. Okay, tell me about that city. Before the war, I never visited it, but I heard it was a real dump back then. All right. Nowadays, it's the biggest city around the new Rome. Oh, fascinating. Can I get in the door, please? 
Now people work the field. Somebody fixed up the small power station. Yeah, you just said that. City Square is in good condition. I can't prove it by me. I can't get in the door, man. The old research institute is now home to the mushroom cult. Okay, we, we heard about them in the last episode, and I'm really interested in those guys. I'd really like to be able to get into that city. Don't really know anything about these guys, but they say they do the charity work around the waist. Another question. Oh, okay, sure. Heard any, heard any good rumors? People say there's this organization in the wastelands. Adam, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of one of them. I'm kind of one of them. Well, any other dialogue options? How are you? How you doing? I spend most of my time on the road moving from village to village. Isn't it scary to travel alone? It's pretty scary. I, I, one of these people has got to be the traitor. Just please let it be him. Roads are stocked by hungry dogs and wolves. Yeah, I know. We just ran away from a bunch of them. Also, monsters nobody's ever seen before. I was knifed, jabbed, bitten. Okay, what about the places where people don't take kindly to you? There are those two. People are angry and scared. Some believe that anyone who wanders the roads out there is out to get them, so they attack first. Uh, isn't it okay? Isn't it scary for you to travel the roads? Yeah, we we just did that. This is a circular dialogue here. All right. Um, another question? No, I think I've kind of run through your dialogue options here. Not still not finding the traitor anywhere. Not finding the traitor. Um, Treza, come this way. Treza, Treza, Treza's frozen. Hang on. Can you go this way? Okay, now go this way. There we go. I think the postman was weirdly creating an invisible wall there. Okay, so we've talked to virtually everyone in town that I'm aware of at this point. Have we talked to you? What's your deal, fisherman hat guy? Thin middle-aged man with a bony complexion. He's wearing a camo shirt and old track pants. I want your thoughts on the local bandits. Shrugs his shoulders for no reason and looks down. Suddenly you feel like he's older than he appears. His voice trembles. Those people are messed up. They're vampires. They suck the life from our village. I think we talked to you ages ago. We saw such brutality that those local bandits seem innocent. He's a broken man, quiet, sad, etc., etc. Morals are unshakable. Morals are unshakable. You can't imagine he'd betray them to work with the bandits. I can imagine it really well if it'll complete the quest. Uh, more questions. What's, what's new around the village? You're the newest thing. All right. More questions. Rumors? Traveling preacher, the type to travel the world, gather garbage, and speak nonsense. Strange noise in the sky. Okay. Eagle flying circles in the air. In that moment, he was ecstatic. Okay, I don't really want to hear about the preacher, to be honest. I would really like to hear about finding this traitor. We work hard, blah, blah, blah. All right, well, I'm out of here. So I, I've narrowed it down to everyone. It's everyone in the village. Uh, we already talked to you because you're the guy who gave us that rifle. Speaking of which, we should store some weapons while we're here. Uh, anything in this building that we haven't checked out yet? Sorry, this is a little bit of a sort of a running around chit-chatting kind of episode, but I'm desperate to finish this quest because we're hitting a big development wall here. Nothing to steal. I'm really looking for information is what I'm looking for. Looking for some note or something to say, hi, I am a traitor. Please report me to the head man in the village so I can be punished for my traitorly crimes. Uh, oh, what's your deal? I don't think we've talked to you. 50-year-old man, Richard Posture. Seems like he'd been a small government official before the war. Comrade, 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 woman. And by any chance are you here to fix it? I've already fixed your water tower. I've already fixed it. Is there really a person in this cruel, war-wounded world that has the professionalism and strength to lend a helping hand to the suffering community? Um, I mean, it was my pleasure, but it was basically just some free experience, man. So, yeah, it was my pleasure. You've really helped us out. Okay, he shakes your hand and pats you on the shoulder. Fantastic. Great. I did that, you know, like five episodes ago, man. Stocky, powerful man, around 30, plump face, sunburnt letters, attention. You see that roll he's rolling dice in his palm. Oh, okay. All right. Um, do I want to play some dice? Not really. I Ah, here we go. I'd like to get your opinion on the local bandits. Do they have a representative in the village? Man's face stays the same. He doesn't expose any emotions. His gaze is pretty saucy. Thieves, thieves, what's their say? They survive. Spitting, insolent. Do they suspect someone inside the village? Is there a spy around? And why are you interested in any way? 
Um, yeah, your head gave me permission to find the local snitch. What happens if you find the snitch? What then? You're going to rat him out, kill him, or do you try to discuss things with him? Maybe try to make a deal for your mutual benefit. Okay, I think we're getting somewhere now. I think we're getting somewhere now. I am all for making arrangements, especially if they're beneficial. Look, what if the one who's working for the bandits just left the village quietly, making no trouble for you or anyone else? All right, we're getting somewhere, finally. Out of sight, out of mind. But when you decide you're done with all that, sleeping under rocks, stealing food, there'll be a position available for you in our their bandit camp. Okay, got him. Got him. Fantastic. It's located not too far from here. Yeah, I know. I've already been over there. How do you like? Uh, let's make this perfectly clear. You're the village snitch, right? Whoa, whoa, quiet down, man. Yeah, that's me. Okay, we made it. We finally made it. Yes. And I see a, a, some experience kicking out into the left-hand corner there. Fantastic. Um, speechcraft check. I have a counter proposal. You pay me and I stay silent about what I've just heard. Uh, I, I don't know what's going to happen if I fail that. And I don't really need the money, so not a good risk-reward ratio there. I think we're just going to not try and blackmail this guy. Stay here, I need to think a while, or get out of here and remember our deal. Hmm. That's a tough choice. That's a tough choice. Stay here. Just think quick. Okay. So, I got two choices. I can turn this guy in now to the head man. Or, I can set him free. I can't believe we finally are getting somewhere with this quest. I can set him free and he will give me quote unquote employment opportunities in the raider camp. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? That's actually kind of a tough choice. I could go either way with that. Let's okay for this run. We're going to be the mostly good guys, I think. So Headman, I found your guy. I found your guy. Yes, I know you're old. It's a man called Grisha. Korvalev slaps his forehead with regret. He looks angry, but also strangely shy, like he just did something stupid. It was so obvious. The man drifts all around, never works for the benefit of the village, and speaks with characteristic street jargon words. That's, that's a little judgmental. I'm really glowing, growing blind in my old age. Well, what now? He's probably thinking about his next step. You calmly await for his reply. Finally, the head claps his hands, showing that he's reached some sort of decision. We must dispose of Grishka the Snitch. His name was Grisha a couple of dialogue options ago. Um, somebody may want to do a little quick editing in here. This is much clearer to me. I don't want to spread panic. Um, I'm happy to help with the elimination, deal with him yourself, or how about my payment? Well, I'm playing the good guy, but not that good. I, I did agree to, you know, for some sort of resolution here so my payment you did a good job learned the whole truth and did not conceal it although you probably had reasons to do so a fitting reward 250 rubles all right that's cool that's fine i'm an honest man and i pay for honest work um i'm not gonna try and even bump this up so yeah i'm just gonna take my money that's fine that's fine um i am happy to help with the elimination what exactly do you propose? Attacking him in broad daylight? I See, I'm going to see if I can play both sides of the fence here. This is my plan. I'm going to turn him in and then go to him, hopefully, hopefully, and say, you know, get out of town, run while you can kind of thing. I'm going to see if I can keep everybody happy. Behind the fence, there's this ab abandoned building. How about you lure him out there silently, do the deed? A rotten thing to do, especially by my standards. Yeah, it is a pretty rotten thing to do, and I don't actually plan on doing it. I don't know how you will lure him there. But I grant you total freedom to do so. I will lure the snitch into the abandoned house, and there it is. Okay, back to Grishka, or Grisha, as the case may be. I'm not sure what his correct name is. I've seen it both ways, as they say. So Grisha, or Grishka, where'd he go? There he is. Can I now play both sides of the fence here? Can I hedge my bets and actually st send you on your way? Uh, okay, so you don't have anything about going over to the abandoned building there, right? Uh, oh, I'm not really seeing an option here to, to get him out of here. So uh, I'm not sure I'm happy with this choice, but there it is. Uh, tell me about yourself. Okay. These are just the standard dialogue options. Uh, Kovlag and Kovlev enacted all manners of plans to catch me. Yeah, I know. I was actually going to kind of let you go, but I don't think I have an option to do that. 
that's fine. All right, here we are. We're, we're going to, I guess, play judge, jury, and executioner here. Uh, and his eyes surroundings to gain his trust, you need to trick him somehow. Why would I do that? Okay, so I've got a gambling check, a strength check, and a speechcraft check. Probably my best bet is going to be speech. Listen, pal, two of my buddies are looking for a place to stay just like I am. Success. Okay, good. Your buddies are in that abandoned building over there. I know where it is. Yep, but they're not the trusting sword. If you go there alone, they'll hide. I'll join you and call them out. All right. Well, we're kind of committed at this point. I didn't really want to kill this guy. I was just going to let him go, but apparently it's a hard choice. You don't get the chance to play both sides and agree to do one thing and then sort of do another thing. But let's, let's go follow this guy. We've got a mission to do here. Okay, we've met up with him over here. Man looks around sheepishly. Death shall be the main course today, and I am the chef. Time to die. Sorry, man, it's nothing personal. It's okay, you just wait. Wow, there's actually no chance to, to send him on his way. That's too bad. And by that token, why do I have three dialogue choices that just say the same thing, which is, I'm going to kill you? Um... Yeah, I guess the most honest you know, honest thing I can say is, sorry, man, it's nothing personal. I was actually going to let you go, but I don't have that option. Lured me in here to kill me. Yep, I, I kind of did, but accidentally. Oh, um, and he could solve this problem right now by just killing me. Uh, we need to get to inventory, like, right immediately now. So, yeah, we, we need to heal immediately. Uh, where's one of those? Yeah, here we go. Emergency purposes only. Use that. Fantastic. And let's, if he's using a knife, let's just get as far away as we can from him. Oh, now he's, now he's getting all punchy. All right. 73% chance. Shoot him. Good shot. Okay. And move away. If he's just melee oriented, this, this could be okay. We could get through this. Oh, you chose to do nothing at all. You just didn't have the action points for it, did you? No, shoot you. Oh, yeah. Good shot. Good shot. I think we're going to be okay here. Unless he starts running, which could be a bit of a problem. Oh, not a problem. Okay. I'm really sorry, Grishka and or Grisha. I really didn't want to kill you. Uh, what do we have? A thief passport. I think that's going to get us into the raider camp. So, and some dice. That's very nice. Okay. Well, with that rather dramatic and, frankly, I, I unanticipated ending to this episode, I really wanted to let him go. I, I was going to let him run back to the Raider camp and try and play both sides of the fence, but I didn't have that option. We'll call it for now, and next time we're going to hike over to the Raider camp and see what's going on over there, because I think we can get in now. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>